Hello, hello. So, uh, the Sennheiser HD 600, and this is actually the uh, 2019 edition. And the basically, the, the only difference is the uh, top part here. It's a different color. It has this kind of dark gray color looks more brighter in the uh, light but uh, this over here is more accurate it says uh, Sennheiser there top HD 600 and difference yeah the color uh, the previous one the regular HD 600 uh, you can see the HD 600 the regular uh, damn light there you go the regular HD 600 they had some kind of a bluish color, kind of marbled color, and some people complained that it was kind of chipping off a little bit. Uh, but this should be better. Also, these uh, corners here are more sharp or straight. Uh, on the other regular HD 600, they are more rounded. Um, same thing on uh, this uh, thing here, it's more rounded stuff on the older version, but this new one is more straight on. Um, I like this better actually, I think the other regular HD 600 looks a little bit ugly actually, the color on them, so I like this grey better. Um, so yeah, I had this for a couple of weeks now, and uh, yeah, I'm starting to like them, actually. Um, they have these pads over here, it's kind of hard to see on the camera a little bit, but there are four pads over here. They are somewhat firm. Um, same thing with the ear pads, are somewhat firm. And of course they are oval. Open, open back. They seem to be some kind of metal grill. And how do you know which one is left or right? Well, it says actually on the inside right here. I don't know if you can see it, perhaps. It's right over here it says... Um, no, it doesn't... Yeah. It actually says here <laughs> on this one. So you can see it says an R, so that's the right, and it should be saying, yeah, right here, L, so right and left, and also they are a little bit angled, slightly, so uh, the, the bottom side should point to the front of your face, also the red kind of input is the right, and the uh, black is left. Um, I haven't tried to pull this out. You should be able to change the cables, but and they should just snap out. But they seem to be sitting pretty firm. And yeah, and same thing with the adjustments here. It's pretty tight. And so this is kind of my setting for my head. Um, they are very light, um, uh, but they, I find them a little bit annoying, the clamp on your head, uh, when you have, uh, have them like this, they are kind of firm, so I can kind of feel the clamp on my head if you use them for a while, and it starts to be a little bit annoying, so they might uh, get a little bit looser the more I use them. And the same thing, the uh, quality seems to be pretty good. And the uh, it's oval shaped pads, or, or even the headphones are oval shaped. Um, I'm not really a fan of these, they, they are okay. Uh, but uh, on this side, on the inside of this, it actually hit the back of my ear a little bit. 
So uh, after a couple hour, of hours, they it starts to kind of rub on you, and it's like. Eh. So I wish they were were a little bit more round shape instead of this uh, very tight oval shape. And I know the Sennheiser 800. I think it's the 820. They are are actually more ear shaped. They are straight in the front. And they look like a D basically. But uh, yeah, they are okay for what they are. I don't really feel the pads on the top. So the only kind of annoying thing is the back thing that it hit my hits my ear a little bit. But otherwise, they are comfortable. Um, why did I get this? Well, I actually have a pair, pair of these ones which are bigger. This is the old Philips headphones. So we compare them. So they, uh, these are a little bit bigger. Um, these are also open, open, uh, open headphones. And this shape of these are actually more rounded, round shape. And they sit on your head a little, a lot more sort of loose. And also the pads are a little bit softer on these. So after like 30 minutes an hour, I can't really feel that I have this on my head. So why did I get the 600? Well, this kind of died on me. The uh, left left uh, headphone just died uh, because I connected this to uh, an old amplifier uh, and it had some issues and there was some kind of power spike or whatever on the left one and it just went dead so I needed a new pair of headphones and also the uh, I think Oh, it's kind of the same but the uh, depth uh, of the pads you know I almost uh, this uh, some kind of a foam here as well in the in the center and I can almost feel this uh, foam on my ears they are very close to your head uh, these weren't really by the way this is the SBC HP 890 Philips so I, cu I couldn't really feel the foam in there and the Philips headphones are actually a lot more the sound stage is uh, really wide you know uh, the music sounds that the music comes from out here and uh, the stereo effect and the surround effect and whatever is a lot better on the Philips and on the HD 600 the soundstage is very narrow it's, the music is dead center in your head and you lose a little bit of uh, the stereo effect of it also the soundstage um, I connected them to, I got this uh, Dragonfly uh, Cobalt it's a USB DAC and amplifier headphone amp and the sound sound stage got a little bit more wider instead of being dead center they are now like over here somewhere and I got a little bit more stereo effect and I also got a little bit more bass out of the headphones because when I plug this in and this is kind of typical for the HD 600 uh, the frequency curve um, and some Star Wars people might recognize this, but I find the lack of bass disturbing. So yeah, the lack of bass on this is a little bit disturbing. Uh, around thousand thousand hertz, one kilohertz, the uh, frequency curve starts to drop off, and I was really disappointed in in the beginning because there were no bass at all. So uh, I actually, actually use an equalizer 
the software equalizer and I bump up the bass a lot, a lot. I will show you that later. But the uh, mid range and the treble are outstanding in my opinion. Uh, the voices and stuff, they sound really natural on them. The treble can be a little bit too analyzing depending on the song and it can be a little bit fatiguing when you use these headphones like eight hours a day. I usually just use them on the weekends because I work a lot and after work I'm pretty tired so I mostly use this on the weekends listening to music and I find that the treble I am a little bit of a, an, an analytic fan or freak myself so I like that kind of sound so, but the bass on them are a little bit, yeah, lacking. So I was uh, thinking of getting the HD650 instead, because those have a more natural bass on them, more bass, but the treble and stuff are kind of less. So it's, uh, when it comes to equalizing, if I use the 650, you know, I have to bump up the treble. But on the 600 I have to bump up the bass instead. <clears throat> so yeah, but otherwise I'm really happy with them. Especially when I use the uh, Dragonfly headphone amp. Because uh, it gives a little bit more power to these headphones. Because these are 300 ohms. And I think the Dragonfly can actually put out like a 2.1 2 volt or whatever. So yeah, but otherwise uh, they are a little bit tight on the head um, and also the back, the in, in, inside here, the back kind of hits my, my ears a little bit. Otherwise they are comfortable, they are very light and say, since they uh, sit pretty tight on your head you can move your head around without them, you know, drop off your head. So I thought I will show you a little bit of the settings that I used on my computer with this. Uh, but in general I'm really happy with this. Uh, right now at least. In the beginning I wasn't because of the lack of the bass but yeah so let's actually put this a little bit away and switch to the desktop. So move this away a little bit and put this over here maybe and let's get back my keyboard here and I'm going to move the mic a little bit so the uh, settings that I use, so let's see, well let's actually first show you some of the images. So originally I have this sound card in uh, my computer, it's a really really old Creative Labs Audity 2 ZS Platinum Pro. And this have a PCI slot, not PCI Express, PCI slot. And I'm lucky enough that my motherboard actually have a PCI slot in it or on it. And no, the computer is not 10 years old. The computer is actually from 2016. It has a i5 6600K on it. I'm lucky enough to have the old PCI slot, so why do I have this card? Well, it's mostly because of this external box that you have. Uh, most sound cards today don't have these external boxes. Well, the new AE-9 have one, but it's a lot smaller. Uh, this box have a lot of inputs and outputs, digital and MIDI and stuff. Uh, the external kind of works in Windows 10, uh, the headphone works 
the digital in and outputs on the front and on the back, but not the analog ports. The headphone app, this was the reason I used this box, was that the headphone amplifier in this box was a lot better than the motherboard sound card. But uh, yeah, it was lacking a little bit of a bass because it's old. So that's why I actually got the Dragonfly instead. Uh, I was thinking of actually getting the uh, AE9. You see, that's the external box for that. But then I would actually be locked to uh, one computer uh, with these headphones. So that's why I actually got the Dragonfly, because now I can, can actually plug this into headphones or uh, connect it to a laptop and use my HD600 with a laptop. So that's one of the reasons, and I get also a better sound from this USB stick. So the settings that I have, the desktop here, um, right now if I go, uh, I right click on the volume here, yeah I know I have a special plugin for this, you can see I go to playback devices, and over here at the top, I have this, you see it says speakers and then the audio quest dragonfly, cobalt, it's the blue one. So if I double click here, you get the settings here. And the first thing I was getting a tip, you should set this to 100 volume level. So that's kind of a big thing because otherwise you get a very low volume. So you set this to 100 and also the uh, regular thing here, set them to 100 and then you adjust the volume on the audio software that you have. It can be FooBar or Spotify or whatever. And then I go to enhancements. Uh, since the lack of bass on these headphones, I actually selected the bass boost, the bass boost option here and also on, under the advanced tab uh, the de default format the sample bitrate and bit depth uh, I set it to maximum uh, it can handle 44.1, 48, 88.2 and 96 kilohertz and all of them are 24 bits so I just have it set to maximum and on the uh, back side of the uh, or on the dragonfly the the unit itself uh, it will light up different colors depending on what kind of what kind of uh, bit depth you are using so i think the 41 44 one is like blue or whatever So that's that. Then I actually use a mixer, a software mixer kind of, called Voice Meter Potato. And yeah, these might look a bit confusing for some people, but uh, yeah, you have different software that you can adjust the volume here and connect it to different sound cards. So up here, you see, you see it says A1 to A5. And these are real hardware that you connect. So, for example, on the A5 here, you can see that the Audio Quest Dragonfly. So, every time I on the, on the left here, for example, I select A5, they will go to my headphones. And you have a complete total mix here. So, if I go mute here, I will only mute my headphones and stuff. And so yeah, this uh, five here is the, you see, Dragonfly. And then I have the real tech speakers here. That's my speaker, real, real speakers. And you can have uh, different equalizers for each hardware output. So for my headphones, for example. So this is the EQ for that. And here you can see it's a real big bump on the bass. Uh, so down here you see the frequencies, so this is 
100 Hz. So the highest bump is between 80 Hz and 100 Hz at the top. And then it will kind of lower. And the rest, you see above uh, 1000 Hz, 1 kHz, uh, it's basically zero. I don't, you see over here the things for them, the zero dB. Because the, the headphones have a pretty natural sort of mid-range and treble. And of course it depends on how loud you actually play your music and the song itself. Sometimes when I play really loud I, I have to go even lower, set it to like minus 2 dB or whatever on, on this entire curve here. But the bass is almost up uh, like 10 dB or something. So yeah, if you compare that to my regular speakers, they are a bit low on the bass and treble, but the mid-range is kind of high. So yeah, that's the kind of difference between the headphones. The uh, HD 600 really need some bass amplification. But otherwise, they sound really good. Uh, and some people say that you should actually uh, burn them in. Because uh, they will sound a lot better after you burn them in. And people might tell you how long you should burn them in. Some say 48 hours, I'll just say 100 hours. And what I did, I did at least 50 hours because I left, the, I have a Spotify list, playlist, that is 17 hours long. So I set that on repeat and uh, it was playing 24 hours a day for two days. And they sound a little bit more softer after that. The treble was a little bit harsh in the beginning, but it got a little bit more softer after that kind of burning. So yeah, these kind of they kind of need to burn in a little bit, but otherwise I'm really happy with them. And yeah, if you want to, uh, if you listen to music like every day for eight hours a day, I can actually just recommend the HD 650 instead because they are not too analytic because the 600 is quite analytic in the mid-range and treble but the um, 650 are more softer stuff but otherwise yeah I kind of like the 600 the uh, 2019 edition and as I said you can use uh, like an equalizer like this and by the way, this software is actually free to use. It's kind of donationware. And this new potato version, the bigger one, um, after 30 days, you sort of get the message sometimes saying this is donationware. So I actually did donate. Uh, I don't remember how much it was. It was like $5 or something. But that. It's a one-time cost. So yeah. So I really like the uh, HD 600s, and I will keep them as long as they as long as they kind of last. And I actually forgot to mention. Um, let's see if we can switch back here to my phone. Um, Yeah, I also got these uh, extra pads when I got the headphones. So uh, this is the, uh, you know, the oval. You can actually replace them. Uh, these these pads over here, you can actually replace them. So uh, some people say that when they, you wear this out, uh, the sound will sound different. So that's why I got a replacement at the same time same time as the uh, headphones. I guess they will last a long time, but just in case I have a pair, I have a spare one if I want to kind of change this. If, if, 
if I get too sweaty or whatever and they soak up too much sweat and start to smell or whatever, I can just replace them with new new pads. And of course there are a bunch of uh, different cables for this as well, you know, high-end cables and whatnot, but to me and my usage it's just perfectly fine for what they are. But yeah, that's kind of my view on these ones, so uh, catch you later.